Hello, praise the Lord. Welcome to Supernatural Life. Today, I want to share the information about the Lord Jesus Christ place where he stays. Because many people believe that the Lord Jesus Christ doesn't have a house to stay. Because many people know the word of God. This is the common word of God that I want to speak with you is according to Gospel of Matthew chapter number uh, 8 and verse 19. So there is a scribe. Who is a scribe? Scribe is nothing but a teacher of a law. A teacher who knows the law. A teacher who can preach the law is called a scribe. So then a scribe came to him, to Jesus, and said, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. So once again, coming to Gospel of Matthew chapter number 8 and verse number 19. Then a scribe came to him, who to Jesus, and said, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. And immediately, Lord Jesus Christ replied to that person, Jesus replied, Foxes have holes, and birds of the birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. My God, this is the word that the Lord Jesus Christ speaks to the scribe, not to the disciple, not to the Gentiles, but he is a scribe. Jesus Christ is speaking this word to the scribe. So many people believe that the Lord Jesus Christ doesn't have any house. Lord Jesus doesn't have any house to stay. He, he, he cannot stay in one place, of course, but there is no house. Many people are believing in that word. Of course, Jesus is saying that I don't have a house. Okay, son of man, son of man has no place to lay his head. Okay, so, but, According to scribe, Jesus replied like this. But what about according to disciples? The same question the disciples of John asked to the Lord. So let me come to that scripture. Gospel of John, chapter number 1 and verse number 39. Gospel of John, chapter number verse and verse, chapter number 1 and verse number 39. Okay, let me read from 38. Turning around, Jesus saw them following and asked, What do you want? So who these people? So let us let let let, let us read 37. When the two disciples heard him say this, they followed Jesus. So 38. Turning around, Jesus saw them following and asked, What do you want? They said, Rabbi, which means teacher, Rabbi. Where are you staying? The same question is came from the scribe, and also the same question is coming from the disciples of the John. These two people, the, these two people are the disciples of John. So these two disciples of John came to Jesus and asking to Jesus, My teacher, teacher, where you are staying? Immediately, Jesus Christ is replied. 39th words come Jesus is saying that come he replied and you will see so they went and saw where he was staying so Jesus is replying come and you will see so they went and saw where he was staying it means Jesus is staying somewhere okay and also and spent the day with him it means there is a room, there is a place where, which Jesus stays. It was about the 10th hour, coming to 40. Andrew, C Simon Peter, brother, was one of the two who heard what John had said and who had followed Jesus. So these all people are existed in that place. So many of the people believe. Jesus doesn't have house. Jesus doesn't have home. Oh, there is no place for Jesus. No, he have a place. But why he speak like that to the scribe? Because scribes and Pharisees 
are against the Lord Jesus. So they, they can't support the Lord. Whatsoever the scribes or as Pharisees, whatsoever they ask to something to the Lord, everything what they asked is against to the Lord Jesus. Everything what, the, what they ask to the Lord, that's are simply against to Jesus Christ. So they never ask it with the love. They never ask it because of the belief, but they ask it because to tempt Jesus. They ask because they expecting something treasures and pleasures from Jesus. They ask it to the Lord because they are expecting money. They are expecting a secrets to be revealed from the Lord Jesus, but they are not believed Jesus Christ is the Messiah. Jesus is the Lord. Jesus is the great prophet. They are not believed. Simply they are tempting. Simply they are talking to the Lord because to tempt the Lord Jesus. So because of this reason, scribe asked to the Lord, where you are staying? And Jesus replied, there is, I, there is no place for me. But immediately, there is no place for me, Jesus replied. But in the same way, John disciples asked to the Lord, my teacher, where you are staying? Same questions, where you are staying? But immediately Jesus speak, Jesus replied, here I am, here we are staying, come, come and see. And they, 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 they will go to the place that the Lord Jesus Christ stayed. These are the two, two, two things that the Lord is spoken. But what, why Jesus said like that? Is Jesus is a liar? No. Jesus is speak to the scribe in the spiritual. Actually, in the spiritual, Jesus Christ is not of this world. Jesus Christ is the world of above. Jesus Christ is the above world. So when when King asked to the Lord in the in the in the time of crucifixion, uh, are you a king? And Jesus replied, Yeah, I am a king, but not of this world. I am from another world. So it means Jesus doesn't have a place in, in Jesus doesn't have a place in the spiritual. Hence the same answer given to the scribe this is not my world i don't have a place in this place i don't have a place in this world so jesus replied to the scribe like that but why jesus replied to the uh, disciples of john like that it means jesus replied to the disciples of john in the physical status he revealed jesus revealed his physical status to the people of disciples of john but Jesus not revealed his physical status to the scribe. He just released only a spiritual status to the scribe. So for the scribes, Jesus replied another way. For the good people, Jesus replied another way. These are the two ways. So don't believe that Jesus doesn't have place physically. No. Physically, he have a place. Physically, he have a house. Physically, he have a family but not in the spirit, but in the physically, you have everything. Because there is a word. He died as a poor, but is not a poor. One thing that I want to share, Jesus Christ died as a poor for us to be prosper. It means Jesus is not a poor, but he is prosper. Though Jesus Christ is a prosperous person, he died as a poor person because of our prosperity it means jesus is the prosperity person how can jesus doesn't have a house in the earth realm? it's a foolish so many of the people believing that jesus doesn't have a house in the earth realm. jesus doesn't have a home in the earth realm. No, no 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 he is a prosperous person because he is a prosperous person though he is a prosperous person he died as a poor person because of our prosperity he died as a poor person in the cross because in the cross he doesn't have a pleasures in the cross he doesn't have a recommendation in the cross he doesn't have a, a crown nothing just there is no clothes he just died as a poor person nothing he just died as a poor person. That doesn't mean he is a poor. No, he is a prosperity. He is a prosper person because the word of God is saying that though he is prosperous person, he died as a poor person because of our prosperity. These are the things of the secrets of the word of God. So today, I believe you people, 
you people understand what i am uh, pretend to speak with you so because jesus jesus christ speaks to the pharisees and scribes to one way and jesus christ speaks uh, to the disciples in another way when pharisees and uh, scribes came to the lord jesus and asked a miracle he never does he never do and when disciples of jesus came and asked for a miracle it it it, it done everything he done a miracle of fishes and loaves he done a miracle uh, it, 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 it done a miracle of uh, peter that he is he is uh, walking on the water peter asked my lord i want to walk like you please do a miracle just it that he did it but not for the pharisees not for the scribes for the scribes he never done a miracle but for the people who believes in the christ he, he, he does miracles these are the difference that the lord jesus showed because it is a perfect love it is the perfect love of christ jesus many of the people that which we are in the church many days we are believing every person we are believing everyone and at the last we are deceived so don't believe a person who doesn't believe you okay because pharisees and scribes never believed jesus is a messiah and also jesus also never done any miracle to them they the, the teachings of jesus christ is different to the pharisees but the teachings of jesus christ is also different to the disciples so these are the things that the lord has done it is simply a wisdom of god you need to receive this wisdom my brothers how we have to talk to the person it is called a wisdom so how we have to be how how we have to talk with persons it is called a wisdom so everyone speaks to the person in the same same form it is not a wisdom we have to act according to the wisdom of god so jesus is filled with the wisdom of god and the and the favor of god so he is a wisdom person so these are the things that the lord has done so my brothers today i hope you people understand and i hope many of the people eyes are being opened and don't believe that jesus is jesus christ is the prosper person jesus christ is the poor person in the physical no jesus christ is the prosper person in the physical he have everything in the earth realm he don't want to lay his hand to another person to receive the money no he have a money himself because of the miracle many people will give the money lands everything that is in the peter's back this is called something we have to understand about jesus because jesus christ uh, 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 jesus christ ruled everything he is the author of faith he is the comforter he is the creator so don't you believe that in the physical he has everything but in the spirit this jesus christ is not of the world of earth but he is world which is above but now as a god as a lord jesus christ is everything before the crucifixion of jesus in this world there is no place but after crucifixion of jesus after resurrection of jesus he is the god he is the lord he came into his position hence he himself created everything whatsoever the god created everything he is presented in that parts so i believe you people all understand what i am saying to you so trust the lord that trust the lord and believe the lord that he is a prosper person though he is a prosper person he died as a poor person because of our because of our prosperity so we have to believe this and i hope you people all understand this sermon thank you for watching and god bless you and god uh, given you a grace and wisdom for this word of god to be understandable in jesus name so subscribe the supernatural life and thank you for watching